Today we're going to talk about the Asden Pro XR 2.4 GHz wireless microphone system. Hey, my name is Jake Sloan and I make videos here on YouTube all about helping solo creators like myself who are out there shooting commercial projects, projects here for YouTube uh, all by themselves. And so I do tutorials, I do reviews of gear that help solo creators create better content. Today we're going to talk about the Asden Pro XR wireless microphone system, which I'm using right now with a Countryman B3 lapel tucked in just here under my shirt. And uh, I think it's a fantastic system for solo creators. But we'll jump into some of the specifics and see if this is maybe the right system for you. Just so we're clear, Asden did send this to me to review, but they did not pay me in any way. So this is my review of what I think of this little wireless microphone system. So real quickly, here's what's in the box. I have the manual, transmitter unit marked by TX, the receiver unit marked by RX with the little antenna. It also has the cold shoe, hot shoe mount, USB to dual USB micro cable to charge with, an AC adapter for USB charging. You get this nice little Asden smartphone clip which can go on a quarter 20 mount something and then also mount the uh, receiver up top here. Then you have a TRS to TRRS, just for most smartphones. You have the whip antenna for the transmitter, lapel microphone that's included a uh, little lapel clip, sturdy antenna, a lightning to TRRS adapter, and you have a TRS to TRS audio cable to go from the receiver to your camera. I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna put it on the camera, we're gonna try it out. I'm going to walk down the valley here. It's a little windy. Hopefully the audio will be okay. We'll test it with the stock microphone, the stock lavalier. It's also really windy. I don't know how well this wind is going to go with this microphone. It's a good 50 feet away. This is on the low power setting. Now I'm a good 100 feet away, I think. Getting closer to the ice. So let's go back. We'll take a look and listen. See how it sounds. And then um, I'll switch it to high power mode and we'll head down this little valley again. So it's really easy to change the power modes. There's a little Wi-Fi button right here. If you push it down and hold it for a second, it changes to amber, that's the medium power setting. And then if you push it down again, it changes to red, that's the high power setting. So we'll give the high power setting a try. Granted, there's not a lot of interference or walls or anything like that around here. And again, I just threw it in my pocket. So I am now, I don't know, a good 100 feet away. Heading up by the ice of this glacier. I can't even, I can't see the camera anymore. I see that big piece right there could just fall over any minute. So you wanna stay away. Far enough for now, you can see the camera. A couple hundred feet away, not a lot of interference or anything like that, but uh, gives you a good idea. Let's go back and See how it sounds. It does make for a nice clean little setup though. So I wanted to record the rest of this review in my studio because you might think that, well, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, there's no interference, and so how well does this do in a place where there's a lot more interference? And the answer is really well. I've been using this thing exclusively since it came and it has performed flawlessly in every environment that I've thrown at it, including here, which is about 30 other systems on that same 2.5 four gigahertz spectrum. The system is really robust. It pairs almost instantly when you turn it on and has zero problems staying paired and staying locked together. Asden has what they call signal redundancy technology where the system is constantly scanning everything in this frequency range and it's constantly searching for the most interference clear uh, frequencies to stay locked together on and it does a phenomenal job of that. Another thing that sets this system apart from other systems is that it's a three output power system. So you can output 20 milliwatts, 50 milliwatts, or 100 milliwatts. Obviously you saw that in the range test earlier, but that really does set this apart. Now they do say you should not use the higher output powers when you're close together like this, when you're within five feet, because it'll actually cause you more problems than you'll get. But if you're gonna be a little further away, or if you're gonna be trying to punch through a lot of people, or obstacles in your way like walls, 
anything like that, then you have the option to go to higher output modes and it really does work well. As you could see on the video, I, I got a good 300 feet away. Some of the other specs are that the transmitter has a 14 hour battery life and the receiver has a 20 hour battery life. I've certainly found that to be very true. I've used these both over the course of several days and had no problems. They do recharge it fairly fast. It takes about two hours, two and a half hours to recharge depending on how low the battery was. And you can power them over USB with a battery bank, which basically gives you unlimited shooting time. But really, if you're gonna shoot for longer than 14 hours at a time, you're gonna need to take a break anyway so you can recharge them. The transmitter unit has a six different level option output for sending audio to your camera. So if your camera has weaker preamps or maybe not the best preamps, you can output plenty of signal to your camera. The other thing that sets this system apart is that the receiver unit has a headphone out so you can monitor the audio going to your camera before it goes to your camera with a uh, volume control, which is fantastic. And then that brings us to the transmitter, which is one of the things I think is really, really cool. Uh, the transmitter has an auxiliary in port and a microphone in port and a three-way switch here on the side. So you can switch it to only take audio from the auxiliary port. You can switch it to only take audio from the microphone port, or if it's in the middle like it is right now, you could plug in the microphone and use it. Plug in an iPhone and play music while you talk. It's really cool. Uh, depending on your use case, it may not be that useful. I do think it's really versatile and I could see times when I would actually use this, especially if I was needing to feed myself something from a soundboard. Say I was recording a conference and I had a roaming camera and I wanted to be able to get good audio off the soundboard in the ro to the roaming camera for being able to sync the footage later in post, then this system is excellent. The other thing that makes this system really stand out from anything else on the market right now is that you can pair multiple receivers with a single transmitter. You could set this up with as many receivers as you needed so that if you were transmitting from a soundboard or from your speaker to say an A camera, a B camera, and a roaming camera, you can do that by pairing multiple receivers. That to me is phenomenal. In my work, mostly when I'm doing corporate type stuff, I'm almost always shooting with an A camera and a B camera and being able to have the audio sent to both so that it's exactly synchronized. When I pull the footage in in my post workflow, I can synchronize the clips easy, super fast, super efficient, and have perfectly synchronized audio and video, which is just awesome. It does come with a lapel, which actually has a really good output overall. It has a tiny bit more noise floor than more expensive lapel microphones, but it's really, really usable and actually is really a pretty good output for it um, as it is. But I'll give you a second of silence here just to hear it without any other noise. Uh, that might have been more like two seconds or something like that. One more thing that sets us apart from other units that are out there is that it does have exposed antennas. That could be a good thing or a bad thing for you, depending on your use. But for me, I found that it gives a very solid link between the two systems. So that was all the good sides. What about the downsides? There are a couple. There always are for any system that's going to be this small and this affordable. You're going to have a few downsides. What are they? Well, one, the lapel microphone is a little bigger than I would like. I'm kind of a nut about hiding microphones. I don't like seeing microphones that much, so I try and hide them all the time. This lapel is a little on the large side, so it'll be a little bit harder to hide, but as a running gun lapel, it's, it's great, and I certainly wouldn't hesitate to use it. Obviously, I'm using it now, and I have used it. The other downside is that they used a mini USB for the recharge port instead of a micro USB or USB-C. And I would much have preferred that they used a micro USB or USB-C because everything else in my kit is micro USB or USB-C. And so that's one more cable I have to carry with me. It's not that big a deal, but it, I do wish that they had updated this to micro USB or USB-C. The other thing that while the cover, uh, the build quality feels very good and robust, it's plastic and it has this rubberized um, coating around the edge, which is good. Uh, I, I wish that they had included a carrying case of some sort. They, they didn't. So, and I've been just throwing this in my camera bag as it is, and it's holding up well overall, but it would have been nice to have a little bit of a carrying case of some sort. And then the belt clip is the only th other thing that worries me. It's easy to replace because it's just two screws right here, 
but it is plastic and I worry that over time it's going to get brittle and break or in my case when I'm out in very cold temperatures when plastic gets brittle it might break then. If you want to see reviews about other audio equipment I use you can click or tap right here. If you want to see reviews about other technology tech things that I use as a solo creator you can click or tap right here and I'll see you in one of those videos. As always you can ask me questions on Twitter and Instagram and I'll try my best to answer them. See you again soon in one of those videos.